guys, welcome to my preview of OS X Mavericks. Um, we're going to go through and look at some of the new previews, how they work, how you would interact with them when it comes out, how I'm liking them, what's showing up, what isn't. Um, one of the few things I want to cover is, is that stuff like iBooks isn't in a developer preview. We don't have access to that yet. As soon as we do and we have an update, I will gladly let you guys know what's going on with that and how it looks and how it works. And I'll have um, screens and videos from my iPad seeing if um, the pages sync up or what's going on with the tabs if I can start a page on my iPad as I'm out and then come back later and read it on my Mac and pick up the same page kind of like I can in iTunes with the movies. Um, there hasn't been any significant changes to iTunes um, yet. What is coming? Everything is very different now. All right, so this was our old calendar. Um, you'd have your calendars that you can click on and off, um, your monthly view, your appointments, your stuff you have to do today, where you are. Um, change your view, search for things, click through, add new calendars, etc., etc., etc. Where for it? Da da da. Here's your calendar. Now, granted, I have moved out and taken away a lot of my personal stuff so that you can see what's going on. But here's one of the cooler features. So let's say that, well, it's it's one o'clock right now. So let's say we're gonna edit this video. If I can learn to spell, I keep hitting the L button at 2 p.m. I'm going to get so many comments about the misspellings. My bad. My bad. I'm using on um, the Apple keyboard as opposed to my standard Razer one at the moment. But here we go. And it clicks through and it shows up right here. You click which calendar you want it to go on. I usually use things like this under appointment. It shows up and there it is. And so there are your appointments and different things that are going up for there. Um, it's easy to make something. Uh, I like to edit different things. So let's try this again. But let's do it for, let's say, 10 p.m. today. There you go. And it shows up. You can leave it on the calendar. Um, the newer features that I do like is that now you can add notes, add attachments, add URLs. Now, when you add attachments, I will um, take a screenshot of what it looks like. But so let's say, for example, we wanted to add this picture. This picture would come in there. It'd be attached permanently to there. And I'd even be able to view the picture on my iPhone with iOS 7. Um, the one biggest thing, the one biggest thing that I haven't I've noticed is that I've, I've left things in there. And then, it's not like before. I mean, before they worked on it, they tried to get a little bit faster and going, so it would show up instantly. I find myself waiting for things to show up in my phone or my iPad. It's so like right now, I'm still currently scrolling through and looking at it. And let's see. Let's print reflector. Okay, so here's my phone. And there it is. It took a couple minutes, but all right, so let's see if the picture we showed up will show up here. And there's our picture. Now let's try and edit it and tell it something different. We're going to probably either use this in iMovie. Well, that's just for After Effects. Let's see if it shows up on here. See, there still is a small delay between the two, but it will sync up and do its thing eventually. Um, I do like a lot of the extra additions that happen that come with it, which are really nice. Um, the way things look on here now is much, much more crisp and smooth. It feels like you're looking at just a standard calendar you would buy from the store. It's not all uh, extra. Visually aesthetic, it's simple, it's plain, it's crisp, it's clear. It's, it's sort of that whole simple is good aspect they were trying to work on there for a while, which in my opinion isn't a bad thing. Um, we're going to turn this off. That is pretty much the uh, the, uh, the basic calendars. You would still come in here um, and if you wanted to make, if you wanted to make or edit your calendars in here, you can. Um, it doesn't seem to like to work with Google as much. I find myself frequently inputting in my password 
to check back on it, to tell it to do different things, or to let it know that I'm still actively using it. Other than that, that is the calendar feature. There's some more stuff that I want to talk about later to show you guys, to get your opinions on, to see what you think. Mostly, what's coming up here is this new tap feature. So you don't need to have as many windows. Like before, if you needed to do something, you would come up and you go new finder window, which isn't that much of a pain. But now if you want something, it's right there and it shows up. So we're, we're going to explore that a little bit more later. But thank you for watching. That's where we're at.